So when we install our system, we're given an, uh, we give it a name. And you can see that, let me make this full screen here. Um, so you can see that right here in your prompt where it says the name, so your name at Ubuntu. In this case, Ubuntu is the name of my server. Now I can change this using the hostname command. So I just type ho or view it using the hostname command. Now this will only display the um, prompt will only display up to the first part of the name, so up to the first period. So in this case, that's all that I have. And if I want to change it, I'll use the hostname ctl command. So I'm going to change the hostname ctl, and I'm going to set hostname, and I'm going to call this classroom dot <laughs> Bassett 331 or 311.local. Okay, and that sends my, uh, or sets my hostname, although it would probably help if I did that using somebody with administrative permission, which it just prompted me to. All right, authentication complete. Um, do, 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 do. So, now um, that should update my hostname. Let's see if it did. There it did. Now it hasn't updated my prompt yet. That's okay because it took that prompt when I opened the shell. If I close and reopen the shell, I should do that. Now I can also view this. All this really does is it changes the etc hostname file. So if I cat etc hostname, we're going to see it there. Now I could go in here, by the way, and uh, manually update the cat or the etc hostname command. That's the right thing. Uh, if I edit that file, I can update that etc hostname file, and that will change my name as well. Now, I can also, um, or not I can also, let me back up here. If I do this, I may run into a problem where it can't resolve its name. And the reason is because we have another file, etc host, so I'll cat that real quick with just one E. forward slash etc posts. There we go. Um, and this gives me my name resolution. And you'll see on this line right here, 127.0.0 or .0.1.1, that is Ubuntu. That's not my new classroom name. So what I need to do is I need to edit my host file. Uh, so I'm going to do nano forward slash etc forward slash uh, hosts. I'm going to edit this file and I'm going to change this to classroom.bassett311.local. Now, this file is used for, and I just realized I don't think I did that as administrator. I did not. So let me discard my changes here and sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash host. Now I can actually change that. Alright, so here's what we're doing. The hostname command uh, sets the actual hostname. What this does is we use this uh, file. There we go. Write it out before I confuse myself anymore. Control O to write out and Control X to exit. So what that does is it will use that when it tries to resolve the name. Now if I don't update it here, before long it's not going to be able to talk to itself. Because it's going to look up its name in the host file and it's not going to be able to find it. Now by changing the name in the host name file, now when it goes to look up classroom, it will be able to find it and so that completes my name change. Now. Um, I exit out to reset my shell and it changes to classroom. Let me go ahead and log in. ABC with a three four dollar sign. And now I'm David at classroom. My name change is complete. So I view it using the hostname command. Uh, I update it by using the hostname CTL set hostname or by editing the etc hostname file. And then I also have to edit the etc host file and make sure I add it back in. Uh, add in the new name. So that's how we go about changing the name of a Linux server.